Let's go to the forwards uh, department here, Mr. Pratt. Uh, who's a guy at this position you'd like to build around? I see your, your boy Tatum is uh, sitting up there, one of two forwards north of $10,000. He is. The top of this list for forwards is also a bit of a mess tonight, though. After KD, you've got Tatum, who's likely going to suit up, but it's not clear how much he's going to play as an important game awaits the Celtics in Milwaukee tomorrow. Kawhi and Julius Randle are obviously out. Jalen Brown is in the same boat as Tatum, and Cade Cunningham scored one fancy point last game. As a result, I think DeMar DeRozan might be your best high-priced option at 8,600. The matchup's brutal. Make no mistake about that. You know, I'll toot Boston's horn as much as I can, uh, but they're giving up the least amount of fancy points to forwards in the league. That being said, we've seen that DeMar is going to get his points no matter what. The Bulls lost by 21 last night, but he still dropped 40. It finished with 52.75 DK fantasy points. He scored 50 plus fantasy points in four of his last five games. And I'd almost expect Boston to let DeRozan do his thing and just focus on shutting down everyone else. All right, Fryer, how expensive are you going to go here? Yeah, this is a position I'm looking at. I see one guy that it's a cheaper option that you've got to build around. I think he's got to be in your lineup tonight. And I know we're kind of chasing, you know, recent form and everything with Jalen Horde here. But at 5K going up against Utah, we're not sure if, you know, Rudy Gobert is going to play tonight, even still if he does. They're on the second leg of a back to back, too. So that presence at the rim may not be there, may not be as effective. This guy's grabbed 20 boards in two of his last three games. And at this price tag, I think you've got to take a little bit of a risk on him. And yes, he might be a little chalky tonight. But when we're looking at a guy, who can somehow put up 40 DK fantasy points at this price range, I think you got to consider him. As long as the minutes are there, he's got, he's going to have that the opportunities to put up those numbers. Um, and with Utah, again, being on the second leg of a back-to-back, -back, I like his chances a lot more to reach that ceiling.